everyone, Tiffany here with The Crafty Home and today I am going to be doing a Bout of Books Day 1 uh, update. I don't think I'll probably get one up every day but I was already filming something today so I figured hey, why not? Um, so today is technically day 2 but I'm going to tell you what I read on day 1. So I started off uh, by bur reading Burned by Ellen Hopkins. This is the story of a teenage girl who is raised in a LDS family, Mormon family, and um, her, hus her husband, her dad is abusive and an alcoholic, and um, she gets caught in a compromising position with a boy, not having sex, but just, you know, there's lots of other stuff you could do. Um, and so it, it, she gets sent away to live with her aunt, and yeah story did not end the way well I don't actually know how it ended because apparently there's a second book because it kind of ended abruptly and I checked and there is a second book so I'm checking that from the library but it's what you would expect from Ellen Hopkins it's real and it's not going to end all happy and roses it's going to end like real life does so um sorry I've got coughing kids and kids playing in the bathtub yeah all right so <laughs> it's my life I try to get it as quiet as I can for a video. Um, so next, after I finished that last night, I picked up Amulet. Um, this is volume six, Escape from Lucian. I'm not quite sure how you say that, but um, I loved it. It looks like I've loved all the others. I love the artwork. They're really quick to read through. Some of the story sometimes confuses me, but that's just because, I don't know, graphic novels are not my thing. But this was definitely by far my favorite picture. I love how like the light is painted and stuff. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's so pretty. I love the artwork in these. And so then I finished that rather quickly, of course, probably in 20 minutes. Um, and so then I picked up uh, P.G. Woodhouse, The Inimitable Jeeves. This is my first uh, Jeeves and Wooster book, and I really enjoy it. Um, for some reason, I thought they were going to be mysteries, but they're not. Um, they're more character-driven, humorous stories of Jeeves helping Bertie and his friends out of all of their messes. So, if you haven't read any of these, I, I recommend it. They're not, um, like I said, they're not necessarily plot-driven. So they're not like one storyline all throughout that is going to tie up neatly at the end. It's more... Um, character driven and so it's more just like these little snippets of stories and Jeeves helping them out. So it's a different type of story um, which is nice to read something different every once in a while. So I am about yay far in it so I'm going to try to finish this today and pick something else up. So yeah that's my quick little wrap up for day one. I'd say that's pretty good. That's like two and a half books and uh, yeah I don't think the rest of the readathon will go quite like that because those were the quick books on, on my TBR. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm getting a lot of reading done, and uh, I'm going to go read some more after I edit some videos. So um, until next time, I'll chat with y'all later. Bye!